Hi guys, quick tutorial on how to back up or uh, save your phone screen pictures onto your computer. So basically, we open up uh, iPhoto. Here you go, photo stream. So that's my latest photo stream pictures. I have it full up to 495 pictures. That information you can see right here. Okay, uh, right in, here in the right hand corner on top. So as you know, your photo stream only goes up to 1,000 pictures. So it is good to back it up and um, sometimes start from zero. Um, on your computer so you have more space and doesn't get full so every time you have your newest pictures on there and um, that way you don't have to sync up your iPhone and just import your pictures that way you can do it wirelessly with uh, phone stream anyways um, on your Mac just press command A or on PC well PC doesn't have iPhoto but you would press uh, control A um, so you can press command A or just drag and select all the pictures you have just by holding your right click um, I'm gonna do the fast way so command A so that selects all your pictures and you're gonna create a folder on your desktop or wherever you like okay so I already created one so I'm just gonna throw this one in the garbage um, here's my folder and it's just called all three and I'm just gonna drag all these or oh, actually we're just gonna copy them. So Command C, or you can right-click and just import them. But um, it is better just to put Command C and Command V. Okay. Um, you could right-click and import them, but that will import it to your iPhoto. Um, when you import it to your iPhoto your pictures might uh, double up so some people have problems with iPhoto because of that because they see doubles because they import their pictures and at the same time they're using photo stream so I recommend just using one or the other so you don't see doubles of your pictures on your photo stream um, this technique that I'm using right now it's not to organize them in iPhoto I do not use iPhoto to organize my pictures um, just some of them so it is better for me to just use folders and uh, from there I just take over and look it up um, basically I imported everything uh, now you will not see it in the exact same uh, order here but you, you can just look it up uh, that you have everything just make sure that you got everything there so I'll just scroll down we can make this a little bit smaller to see if we have every single picture and we do uh, these last ones turned up to be the first ones on top which is fine it's just because of the names and everything um, okay so once you see that you have all your pictures which it did say that you have uh, the 490 so you just go get info and make sure so that's a gig of space okay and you have 496 items so here you have to check up, it's 495 pictures selected, um, which is okay. As long as you're off by one, you are fine. So that's how you back up your pictures onto your computer from PhotoStream. And from there, you can just clear out everything on your PhotoStream. So second step would be just to command A. And we're going to press delete. And just delete photos. And we are going to delete them from PhotoStream. So that's going to take a, a little bit to delete all those from PhotoStream. Um, you may or may not see them deleted from your other photo streams in your iPhone or iPad. Usually not. Usually just deletes it from your photo stream in your computer. Not on your iPhone or iPad. On your iPhone or iPad, you will have to do it manually. Um, kind of the same way. And that's it. If you guys have any questions or comments, please write here on my YouTube channel. And don't forget to subscribe.